all right? So I got a new guitar in this case. You guys already saw it from the title. It's a Harley Benton guitar. Now I know you guys are gonna say, oh, Harley Benton. What is a Harley Benton? You know, I know you guys are already gonna talk crap about it. Now what guitar do I have in this case? I have a Harley Benton Fusion 3 series guitar in here. And now is Harley Benton gonna be, you know, one of those brands that people just talk crap about and say they suck? Or are they the next big thing? Now I'm gonna go over some specs on this guitar, you know, cause they've got some high quality stuff on this guitar. And personally, I've only played one Harley Benton, the Telecaster, Peasley Telecaster guitar. I gave that guitar to my nephew, so that one's long gone. But now I got this one. So here's the guitar, and dude, this thing looks freaking sick, man. Like, honestly, for a budget-friendly guitar, this thing honestly looks looks legit. According to their website here, it says it's got 24 medium jumbo frets, stainless steel frets. So stainless steel frets on a guitar at this price range, honestly, man, this thing is great. I mean, it could have done a little better on the fret ends. Like, they're a little bit sharp. It's not the best fret job, but you know, for the price range, you know, it's easily fixable with a little filing done. But, you know, it's got a Floyd Rose 1000 on it. You know, it's not even the Floyd Rose Special, which you'd probably expect on a guitar at this price range, you know? Most guitars at this price range, like let's say, you know, Jackson, for example, even Schechter, they'll put a Floyd Rose Special on their guitars and they go for like four or $500. And, you know, you get Grover tuners here, you know? So it's a pretty, pretty good guitar, man. Like, you know, it's got Roswell pickups on them. I've never really tried the Roswell pickups. Um, I don't know what to expect, you know, because I'm a pickup guy, so... I don't know what to expect in those pickups, but man, dude, like this, this top looks nice, man. Like, even though it's a veneer, but still, dude, like this thing looks freaking sick, dude. It is a bolt-on neck. So yeah, you got two humbucker pickups, three-way blade switch, coil split, you know, master volume, master tone. You know, it's pretty simple right there. Cool thing is that you got your truss rod adjustment right over here. You know, it's not like all the way up here on the neck and you got to like fish through those strings, right? That's a pretty big hassle right there. But like, since it's like right here, you know, that's, oh man, super accessible. So that's another plus for this guitar, man. Like the neck profile on this thing, you know, it's a modern C-shaped neck. So it's like not super thin, like a super thin C-shaped neck. And it's not like a baseball bat, so... You know, it's a pretty good thin neck, you know? Basically, it's a shredder guitar, so... I do play a lot of metal, so this guitar might be something that I might, you know, end up having as, like, one of my main guitars. So, and all the specs are on their website, but it does say here that it has an eye-catching, lustering finish. So, if you guys are lustering for this guitar... It's your kind of, it's your kind of guitar. But yeah, you know, you got your Floyd Rose 1000 right here. Stainless steel frets right there. I think we call these like the clay dots. They look like clay. They actually look a little bit more like yellowish. And here's your headstock, Harley Benton Pro Series. And you got yourself. Grover tuners right there. You know, it is a guitar from Indonesia, so... And Indonesian guitars, you know, I've, I've spoke about that in the past, where Indonesian guitars are really good. So Indonesian guitars and Korean guitars, you know, they're really good. So the quality on this thing is freaking stellar. So um, now all I got to do is just, you know, show you what this thing sounds like. 
But dude, this thing looks freaking nice, man. I'm like still in shock, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I might change those pickups. I might do that later. You know, I might just keep those, but I don't know. As of now, I'm going to do what it comes with. So what are my final thoughts on this guitar? Man, honestly, for the amount of money that you're spending on this guitar, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Now, this guitar new goes for like $369. And you're getting a lot for your money. You know, I've got guitars that are like price ranges from $100 to like two thousand dollars and this guitar is up there man just because it's got really good quality features on them you got yourself a floyd rose 1000 you know these floyd roses they're around three hundred dollars probably a little less on you know the floyd rose website you know and, and it's just shocking because you know you'd expect maybe a special on this or even just like a random knockoff floyd rose so most guitars around this price range let's say for example jackson right because i've got a lot of uh uh, Jackson guitars like from like JS series to, like soloists and stuff like, on the Jackson JS series right they don't even give you a Floyd Rose special you know a special is like uh, probably like the third tier of like quality you know obviously Floyd Rose original is like the highest quality then you got the Floyd Rose 1000 and then you got the specials but on the Jacksons they'll put in a Floyd Rose by Jackson you know so it's like the lowest tier so i've got a few of those and they just strip the fact that you're getting a floyd rose 1000 on this guitar it's just it's, it's unbelievable and you got grover tuners you know it's not even like a, a like harley benton like uh tuners on them so it's just crazy now playability man this thing does play smooth like you know what it says on the on the website it does play smooth and it's a really shredder guitar man like the the neck is super thin feels great um it is a little scratchy i don't know if you guys can hear that and that's just because you know the frets you know they're this is a brand new guitar you know uh i got this guitar off the facebook market from this guy named george and george if you're watching man thank you so much you know and apparently you know which is very common the floyd rose is something that's not for everybody so uh he got the same guitar but without the floyd rose it came with like the wilkinson uh tremolo so it's literally brand new and the little demo i did i basically played the literally just how i got it you know it came standard tuning i think these are like 10 to 46 gauge strings they feel like them i usually you know play in drop c sharp or you know drop c and I played 10 to 52s, so it was a little bit different, but you know, it's not really a big deal. Uh, the Floyd Rose was a little into the body, so I had to like raise it up a little because it was banging up against uh, the back plate back here, so I couldn't really get a nice dive. I just raised it up a little bit, and but other than that, the guitar just came to me, you know, perfect. Now, the pickups on this guitar, the pickups, uh, they're, it's very subjective so they are around 8k ohms each you know like 8.10 this one and then this one's like 8.4 42 I think but you know they're really 
low output pickups for the bridge, you know, for me personally, you know, I like really high output pickups, you know, anywhere between 12, 14, 16, whatever. It's subjective, like I said. If you get this guitar and you love how it sounds and plays, like I said, it's got nothing wrong with it. I would honestly play with it like this if I wasn't so picky with my pickups and stuff, but it's, it's, it's great, you know? And depending on, obviously, the, the amplifier you have, I have a Boss Katana 100. So like for me, you know, it doesn't really matter, which is, it still sounded good. You know, it's just like a personal player's uh, preference. But for me, um, they sounded okay. You know, they sounded decent for what they are. Aside from that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this guitar. I highly recommend you guys giving Harley Benson guitars a really good try, a really, really good try just because quality on these guitars are good and i know a lot of people don't you know go down that route you know on budget friendly affordable guitars just because you know what the headstock says people would rather get a low-end epiphone or a low-end jackson than getting something like this where you know it's got extremely good quality stuff on it so you know i really do recommend you guys giving uh, harley benton a good try but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and, you know, or whatever you guys want. I did this five times, bro.